Okay, so this is just a quick review of um, how to set up your, your classes this year in EasyGrade Pro, importing any um, continuing students from last year. Um, so what will you do? First of all, of course, you just go to a class, and um, well, let's just try this one here. There's um, six students in it. Um, what I will do is I will go import from prior year. Next. Notice that Social Studies 9 there, but we're doing English 9, so I have to pick the right course. And it looks like it'll be somewhere up here, English 9. I'll make sure the section number, which is at the end, the 01, is the same, and it is. Otherwise, it could be an online course or a paper-based course. Go OK. And we've got English 9 here. It has to be selected for anything to show up here. Now, there's a bunch of students here, but the first thing you want to do is make sure you get the labels for these columns correct. So those are the assignments. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the first one by clicking on it. And then I'm going to move this bar down to the very end. I'm going to hold my Shift key down, click on the last one. That ensures that I've got all the um, labels selected for each column. And I'll import it. And there they are. So would I like to import again? Well, yes, I'd like to import any marks that these students might have. So we'll click on the same thing again and import from prior gradebook semester. And notice the English 9 is already selected there, so that kind of speeds things up. And we'll click on English 9 again. And this time we're going to import students. There's lots of withdrawn students here. We don't have to import those. And I should mention that, um, uh, you know, if someone comes back and wants to uh, know what their mark was last year, you can you can import those marks at that point and tell them what they got. Or places there. Sometimes you're gonna have to import stuff to view old marks, and sometimes not. Anyway, um, holding the control key down, um, we'll just select all the students here that aren't um, withdrawn. Looks like that's about it. Yeah, I don't see any there. If you miss one, you can always go back. As long as you don't change the order of these columns, then you're fine to, to just go back. So now I'm going to import these. And uh, these boxes might have not been ticked, so you got to make sure that you tick scores at least. Uh, summary comments and notes. I'm not sure what that is, but it doesn't hurt to bring them over, I guess. We don't do attendance, so we just click on there and... Would you like to import again? No. And you can see all the marks are there now and, and that. So um, we're good. And that's all you have to do. Thanks. Bye. Hope that helps.